he will use every single thing against her. Did John hack into Kate's accounts? All new spying bombshells from the nanny. Her text messages, her emails. I never hacked into it. But first, John and Kate's former nanny lobs a new bombshell into John's world, accusing him of some pretty dirty tactics when it comes to Kate. Explosive new allegations from John Gosselin's former nanny. Stephanie Santoro, who claims she was romantically involved with John, tells Radar Online John told her he spies on Kate and hacks into her email. Not just her emails, her text messages, her emails. Every time she gets an email, he gets a copy of it. He just said that when it all comes down to it, that he will use every single thing against her. I never hacked into it. John with an adamant denial, his attorney saying, quote, John has never had a romantic relationship with Stephanie Santoro. John has never illegally invaded Kate's electronic privacy. Meanwhile, life goes on for the tiniest Goslins. A run to dad and a heartfelt hug from Hannah. As the famous eight tumble off the school bus, the brood clearly thrilled to have a day with dad. So how did mom spend her day off? New video shows Kate doing errands and taking a trip to the hair salon. The question now, is the door about to be slammed on John and Kate plus eight? TLC confirms only that the show will end, but Radar Online reports today that the final episode will air in November. Looks like the Gosselins may need a new title, John and Kate plus jobs. But TLC tells us they still plan on moving forward on a project with Kate. Let's get to the latest twist in the Gosselin divorce case. Did John hack into his wife's bank accounts and computer illegally? John told me that he pretty much hacked into everything of Kate's, that he um, had access to her online banking, that he had a trace on every single one of her emails. Explosive new spying claims by John's former nanny today on RadarOnline.com. He said that he had enough there that when the ball dropped, he had enough to completely screw her over with everything. Now, John's side. I asked him about Stephanie Santoro last week. She claims you guys had a relationship. I did not have a relationship. She claims that, that you guys were intimate. I was not intimate with her. And she just burned me, threw me under the bus. I'm pointing this question right at our special panelist today, CBS legal analyst Lisa Bloom. Did John break the law? Hacking into a computer is just as creepy and illegal as breaking into someone's bedroom. Absolutely, it's an invasion of privacy. Lisa, girl, two words for you. So what? Inquiring lines are going to want to know. Doesn't make it right, though. How would you like it if someone got into your cell phone and looked at all your texts? How about the private I'm... bank information? Doesn't that make a difference? Exactly. Nisi, this may be the War of the Roses, all fairs and love and war and divorce, but it is illegal to hack into someone's personal information, including their cell phone. Now, I have a question for you. If he already had her passwords, is it hacking? Is it illegal? Then the argument is that she gave permission, okay? But we understand he maybe has some IT work in his background, and so I I don't know if that would explain everything. What should be illegal is heartache and heartbreak. Oh, and when true. you are in that place, you're going to look. This and is... if there's nothing to find, you don't have nothing to worry okay, about. Okay, well, now let's take it to the wall with John's attorney, Mark Heller. Is John worried about these new allegations? Is the nanny actually telling the truth? John has already stated that she's a liar. The fact is that John Gosselin has never illegally invaded Kate's privacy. What do you mean illegally? Why did you throw that in there? Because it's being alleged that he emailed. So did he do it or did banking. he not do it? He did not do it. Thank you very much, Mark Heller. It's the case that just won't end. But 14 minutes away, we just tracked down John and asked him specifically about spying on Kate. His new comments are on the way. John fires back at the nanny's claims that he invaded Kate's privacy and what he's saying about her bodyguard now in depth. Plus, we have his new comments after his former nanny accused him of spying on Kate. We tracked down the embattled dad and asked him point blank, did he really hack into Kate's private information? It's time to go in depth. That's just all fodder, you know? People make up lies to capitalize like money. And uh, I never hacked into it, you know? You know? I don't really care, so it doesn't matter. And now, what does John think about the man regularly at Kate's side? John, would you like to see Steve, the bodyguard, out of the picture? If there's no show, there's no Steve. Rumors flew five months ago that Kate was having an affair with her bodyguard, which both have denied. 
The distinguished white-haired middle-aged man has accompanied the reality mom on her book tours and has been seen behind the scenes in many of Kate's photo ops. Here's what we know about him. Neil served with the New Zealand Police Department for 19 years. His expertise is in VIP protection, working for the royal families of Britain and the 2000 Olympics. And oh yeah, he's married. Kate told People Magazine, quote, the allegations they're making about me are disgusting. I look at Steve like a big brother. He and his wife are wise, they're rational, and I trust them. So what are John's thoughts on Steve continuing as Kate's bodyguard even if the show ends? So whether it's my opinion or not, it doesn't matter. If uh, protective services continue, that's up to Kate. The questions remain. Without a show, will Kate even need a bodyguard? Will she even be able to afford it? And will the bodyguard still be by her side if he's not getting paid? Only time will tell. But right now, here's what we're working on for tomorrow. John versus Nanny Stephanie, day two. The proof is in the pudding. Will John take on his former babysitter if she reveals more secret Goslin allegations? Are John and Kate co-starring on an episode of Law & Order? So false. While their TV reality show is now officially set to end its run by mid-November, dramas like NBC's Law & Order help it live on. Friday night's episode is ripped from the headlines. This is why I thought I should get the show. Plus, I'm a single mother, so it's more dramatic. The show? A new reality show, like John and Kate, you know? Only less depressing. Friends, while we're on the topic of Kate and Captain Charisma, whose side are you on? Let's go to the eTalk box at Dave & Buster's in New York City and hear what you guys are saying. Well, Kate's side, how dare you take all that money away from your kids? I mean, doesn't he have any integrity? Right. I'm on John's side. Don't like Kate at all. I think she's a she beat on. <laughs> I am definitely on Kate's side because he completely lied. He cheated on her and he left her. I understand he's just out, but you're a man. 